Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. Proverbs 30, verse 14 today, where God says, There is a generation whose teeth are like swords, and their jaw teeth like knives, to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. So this verse is talking about oppression and about people who are never satisfied with what they have. They're spiritually empty and they try to fill it with material things even to the point of oppressing others to get more and more and it doesn't satisfy. They're not satisfied with what they have so the abuse others to get more. They squeeze people like you would squeeze water out of a sponge. And all because of their greed. And if you don't think God notices, then you don't believe the Bible. God notices that sort of thing. And he's talking about greedy people right here and how they are so greedy that they oppress others just to get more than what they need. God uses several illustrations, beginning in verse 15. Look at 15. The horse leech hath two daughters, crying, Give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied, yea, four things say not, it is enough. The horse leech has two daughters, God says. They both do the same thing. They cry, give and give. If you've ever wanted to apply a name to something that would be fitting to its personality, then leech would be a a good name because a leech cries out, give, give. That's a leech's personality, give, give. They'll take the blood out of your body like a wood tick. That's a greedy person. Just keep taking and taking and taking. Never get filled up. Just literally explode. Because they're so greedy for blood. That's a greedy person. A leech. Give, give. You expect it of a leech. You expect that kind of behavior out of a wood tick, but out of a human being created in the image and likeness of God? They're no different. God's the one who makes the comparison. Someone who oppresses to get something even that they don't need simply because they're in love with things. They're in love with more and more and more. And God says, there are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say not. It's not enough. Four things say it's not enough. It's just not enough. Not being satisfied, always wanting more, always needing something new to tickle us is indicative of a poor walk with the Lord Jesus Christ if there's a walk with him at all. No one, be, no one can be content unless they are fellowshipping with God through Jesus Christ. If you're fellowshipping with him, then you're not always going to need something new to entertain you because you will be satisfied with Jesus Christ. You got a person who always needs to be doing something new, something different, never satisfied, never content. They don't have a good walk with God, if one at all. With that, we'll stop for today. Study all of God's Word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. If you'd like to be a part of Scripture Verse by Verse, Coffee Break, pray for me and God's Word. Do it right now while you're thinking about it. I'd appreciate that. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That makes you a part of this ministry as well. Thank you for studying with me here on Coffee Break. See you next time.